by Frank Warren, courtesy of the Daily Star signing Carl Frampton as a massive coup for us, and now it is time for some cracking featherweight clashes. The Belfast fighter joins Josh Warrington in our stable and Welshman Lee Selby is the third part of the puzzle. Selby has the IBF title, but I believe all three could face each other in tasty domestic clashes next year. Warrington has a big fight against Danish Dane German Dennis Allen on October 21, and if he wins that, then he is mandatory challenger for Selby's title. That should make it a very easy fight and Warrington won't have to give up too much to get it on. Now Frampton is on board, we have the foundations to build big in Belfast with his pals Jamie Conlon and Patty Barnes also in our stable. The former two-weight world champion is a massive draw in his home city, and on November 18 we are expecting a sold-out SSE arena to be rocking. There is no opponent yet, but he will have a 10 or 12 rounder to shake off the cobwebs as he hasn't fought since his January defeat by Leo Santa Cruz. He has a new trainer in Jamie Moore and I want him to get used to it. While it was a big coup for us to land Frampton, we were also the most attractive option for him. We will ensure he has huge exposure in Ireland and the UK through BT Sport and Box Nation. Barry McGigan and Carl Frampton reflect upon their careers We are on the way to changing the way people watch the sport in this country, certainly on pay-per-view. There are a lot of interesting fights out there for Frampton. Could he fight Warrington next year? Why not they may be too big to Ketzler's for me with Frampton able to sell out Windsor Park and Warrington capable of doing the same at Elland Road, but I won't fear pitching them against each other. Tags Frank Warren Josh Warrington Carl Frampton